Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Today we are looking at Marmoset 4. This is more like a requested video and it has to do with how you can make changes to a PNG file in terms of colors and also how you can manipulate this owing to the fact that Marmoset now has a texture system and at the same time just in case you're working with your models and you want to make changes whether it comes with the text and you want to make different variations of that text we're going to take a look at that now so this is very very easy by the way and how you can get started is by going over to file import the model that you want in our case we're getting a plane and i'm just going to drag this plane right in here and then select the plane object and flip this because we want to see both you know the back and the front we're going to flip this and this is what we have all right so once we have this one here this is the material that it works with so you can see that we can also make some changes now the png image which we're going to use is the comic image okay so this is something that we've downloaded from the internet and how you can get busy is click that image drag and drop it right here and at this point you can notice that we have this now the magic happens once you go over to transparency so within transparency just simply set this to cut out and that's how easy you can get a png image into marmoset but then you would also be wondering why is it that we don't really see the color the reason why we don't see the color is because first of all our reflectivity is set to specular and the intensity is a little bit high so if we move this all the way back you know we start seeing some stuff but i personally like working with metalness in most cases so you can also make some preferential treatments to your models depending on what you're working with then right over here you also notice that we have the gloss and we can push this gloss all the way up or we can push this all the way back for my personal preference i also like working with roughness compared to gloss so i'm just going to push that all the way to that point for the color we're going to also push this right here to where we have it all white and that is how easy you have this now speaking about how you can change the color how you can change the color is by simply doing this but you notice that by doing this you don't have all of that creative control the beautiful thing is with Marmoset now, if you go over to your texture section right here, you can easily start doing some texturing and manipulating this. So what do we do? Let's actually rename this to 001. I think that looks good. And then you need to define a brand new texture project. And that is all you need to do. All right. So how this works is you need a texture and you need a material. Okay, so for those who haven't, or in case you don't know about how this actually works, there's a video that explains that. Link to that is going to be in the description, so you can check it out. Okay, so with this one right here, the beautiful thing about the whole texturing thing in Mamoset is it simply has every single thing that you want. Okay, if you want to make some painting layers, if you want a fill layer, adjustment layers, all of this stuff you have them. So for fill layers, of course, you can throw in a fill okay we don't need that right now so let's undo these and get back and then if we click on this button right here we have adjustments let's actually redrag this right there because you know we undid that earlier so i'm going to click right here and then you can see we have the gradient the curve blur but what we want is to change the colors so that's why we need to hit on hue and saturation so with hue and saturation if we simply start sliding across you notice that we have that change right there so this is uh this is very neat it is extremely neat okay so we can do this and you can have all of this cool stuff happening want to make some changes with the saturation you can also play with the saturation and get some stuff happening like so like you can see that right there we can have that happening and you can play with albedo of how you want these things to look and at the same time you can also go in and start playing with how you want the roughness to look like you, you know you have access to all these parameters and you can do tons and tons of stuff with it for those asking this is how you can make your changes and this will definitely give you some extra room to making some very interesting looking stuff directly here in Mamoset Toolbag. so if you want to see a full video where we covered all of the new features with Mamoset 4 simply go over to the link in the description and take a look at those and for those who want to see some more videos about texturing and also shading there are a couple of videos in the channel that would get you up to speed with that tell me what you guys think about this in the comment section and of course if you like this video or you learned something from this you can go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to share with a friend and if you're new here it's going to be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and also turn on notifications so that you don't miss the next video or the next update and until i see you guys again with the tutorial update free friday tutorial tuesday tips and tricks things like this peace